NC State 21, East Carolina 20. Salt of the earth. No, he is not a true freshman. Um, so, this East Carolina mess, uh, I didn't see this happening at all. I, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm a little speechless here. Um, so, East Carolina, of course, drives down, and they score a touchdown with just a couple of minutes left, and they miss the extra point. And then they get the ball back because North Carolina State cannot do anything on offense. And whew. and then, of course, they missed the, uh, the game-winning field goal, which was just rough. But, man, I... I don't even know what to tell you. Uh, pulling up the stats here on this one. Uh, every, I mean, East Carolina won basically all of the, the bigger stats other than, you know, a defensive touchdown, or I, I guess a special teams touchdown for NC State. They had more points per scoring opportunity. They had a better third down percentage. They had more total yards. They had more yards per play. They had less turnovers. Uh, they did not win field position, and yet somehow... NC State found a way to win this ball game. I hate their offense. I really do. I like Devin Leary still looks like a good quarterback to me. And I can't figure out the scheme. I can't figure out what they think is going to be successful. Um, you know, it, he was 17 out of 33 for 211 yards, one touchdown, one pick. Uh Holton Naylor's, you know, 25 out of 41, 267 yards, two touchdowns, two interceptions. Like, if East Carolina plays like that every week, they could win the AAC. I just know that they won't, right? They won't play like that every week. So, I don't know. You guys uh, give me your thoughts on this. Uh, Big Allen jumped in. East Carolina and West Virginia both missing opportunities to propel their programs to new heights. Ah, it takes me back to the good old days. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's really what it is. Uh, this is... East Carolina is a fun team, and I like Mike Houston, but there was some questionable time management, and que- they just there were there were questions all over the place. Uh, I I look at this, and I don't know how. Like NC State was up twenty-one to seven at the half, and then they come out and and do nothing, you know, turnovers and. Going forward on fourth down and don't get it. Like, they they should have dominated this game from a talent perspective, definitely. But Dave Doran, like, if you're ACC teams, why do you continue to go do these? Like, what what is the purpose? Why would you continue to go play these road games? And I understand, like, some of them are two-for-ones and whatever, but you are making it more difficult on yourself to, to go and do these road games at, you know somewhat respectable G5 programs within your state who obviously hate you and they get worked up to be able to beat you. Like, you you give these guys motivation because they didn't get to go to your school or whatever, or they feel like the little brother or something. It's added motivation, and then you get to go to their house and they get to play you at home with their fans? It's just a bad idea. Overall, bad idea. Um, I didn't like anything that NC State did. Offense, defense, anything. I had NC State, I think, winning 10 games this year. <laughs> and I, I bought into the hype because I love that defense. I do. They are vicious. That is a violent defense. And I don't I don't get it. Uh, Big Allen said exactly why West Virginia doesn't play Marshall. Yeah. Yeah, why would you? West Virginia is is a P5 team. P5, a question, you know, whatever, quote, quote, unquote. I, I don't, I don't like it. I don't, I don't like NC State right now. ECU surprised me a little more than I, you know, I didn't think ECU was going to be very good this year uh, based on the guys that they lost. And, and I don't think uh, Holton's a, a great quarterback, but obviously he kind of, he showed up pretty good in this one. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.